Uh, no matter which service eventually wins the streaming wars, Roku is hoping to stay above the fray. The company introducing its own brand of smart TVs and saying uh, it now has 70 million accounts. Julia Borston joins us now with the CEO of Roku from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Julia. Thanks so much, Tyler. That's right. I'm joined by Anthony Wood, the CEO of Roku. Thank you so much for joining us here today. So the big news out of CES is that you have these new TVs. This is one of them right here. Tell me, why is Roku making a bigger push into hardware when this is a money-losing part of your business? Well, Roku's business model is to distribute our platform, you know, we just announced that we passed 70 million active accounts, which is almost half of U.S. households now have a Roku to watch TV with. Uh, and the, the, the way we reach all those households is by selling our Roku TVs and by streaming players. And Roku TVs are primarily sold through our TV partners like Hisense or TCL. Uh, but, by, but we also announced that CES, this CES that we're selling our first Roku designed built and sold television. And that the reason we do that is that it allows us to continue to drive innovation, a platform for innovation uh, that we then give back to our uh, TV partners. But so it sounds like in a way you see these hardware devices as being loss leaders, but you're launching them, them at a time when there's concern about consumer demand. There's inflation, there's talk of a recession. Isn't this a particularly tough time to be doubling down on the hardware side of the business? Roku is a service company. We, we, we generate billions of dollars a year in revenue from advertising, from distributing streaming services, and we have a great platform to do that. But the core of that business is, is the market share of our platform. And so 70 million plus active accounts, the way we get that is through selling TVs and players, and that's a big focus for us. Now, let's talk a little bit about advertising. You said you generate revenue from advertising, and um, obviously there's been concern about an ad contraction. There's been a concern that some of the streaming players are going to be spending less on content and perhaps even spending less on marketing, which is obviously important for you. Talk to us about what you anticipate in this economic environment right now. The, you know, Roku streaming hours uh, were 87 billion hours of streaming last year, meaning our viewers, those 70 million active accounts, watched 87 billion hours of streaming. That was up 19% year over year. The world is moving to streaming. You know, all TV is going to be streamed. That means all TV advertising is going to be streamed. Uh, <clears throat> and Roku is the number one streaming platform in the United States. So, you know, it's just, uh, there's, there's temporary headwinds, obviously, in terms of the ad business. It's affecting us, just like it's affecting everyone. But... The world is going to continue to move in streaming. The ad business is cyclical. It'll come back. And Roku is extremely well positioned as the number one streaming platform. So in addition to those ad headwinds, you have the fact that you now have new comp competition for ad-supported streaming from Netflix as well as N Disney. What are you seeing so far? I know that both of those businesses, those versions of their streaming services are relatively new. Do you think they're going to really eat into your revenue when it comes to the Roku channel? The... You know, if you th just going back to what's happening in the big picture, the big picture is all TV ads used to be on traditional pay TV. Those viewers are moving to streaming. We're still pretty early in that process. Most viewers have not switched yet. Uh, and as TV ad dollars move to streaming, streaming companies are yeah. getting into advertising. It's becoming mainstream. That's what you But expect. anything specific you're seeing as CEO of, of Roku with your advertisers and, and your clientele? Well, we're seeing that um, if you look at our overall ad business, uh, you know, obviously the ad business, the industry is, is hurting right now. But, mm -hmm. but the, um, the, the traditional TV, pay TV ad business is, is a lot lower than the streaming ad business. So mm -hmm. streaming, if you look at where the ad dollars are going, they are moving to streaming. We are seeing that in our business. And, uh, you know, the big picture also is that in times of economic uncertainty is, yeah. when, is when businesses make hard decisions. And the biggest obstacle to the growth of our ad business is just all those TV dollars moving from traditional TV to streaming. Yeah. And this economic downturn in advertising is, tra is accelerating yeah. that and I, transition. And we are unfortunately almost out of time. I just have to ask a quick final question on M&A. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense for Roku to be a standalone business? You've been speculated about as potential um, acquisition uh, target or, or partner for a deal. What does the future hold? The, like I just said, the, 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 the world is switching to streaming. It's a huge opportunity. Most of the opportunity is in front of us, and that's what we're focused on is building our business. 